Hey all, and in this video we'll be looking at the strategy I use to rank up fast. I will be also looking at the stores, the trials and dungeons store and the gear dungeon store. And then taking on a few legend trials bosses. So to start with regarding ranking up fast. It's all about using your stamina, doing all the dungeons, trials doing the forge boss, gear dungeon each day, doing anything you can to get EXP. And if you're trying to get stamina, I recommend keeping the scavenge and craft potions quests going whenever you can. It's a better thing to do between events. With scavenge, you have a chance to get three or 15 stamina. The 15 stamina is pretty rare, but the three stamina comes up quite a lot. If you do this whenever you get a chance, you should get quite a lot of stamina from this. Craft Potions is a two hour quest giving a minimum of nine stamina. Sometimes they can get around 45 stamina from that. It's pretty rare, but it's nice when it happens. The other way of getting stamina is from the Honor EXP pack. So I'm going to open one of these now, just to show you. You can buy the guild one if you want to. These generally have junk cards in, but there's the stamina you get from it. So I'm going to use a bit of the stamina now. I do the main campaign and I normally do this mission here, 7-8 Arkend Shadow. Now, the reason I do this mission is not only for the EXP, but you have a reasonable chance to get scale shards from this mission. And as you know, you need scale shards to evolve wisps. I'm going to use my overpowered GVG attack deck for this. This is a fast way to get through the campaign missions as the cards spawn power gems every turn, meaning you don't need to use the skills. So this should be very quick. So it's pretty much just match anything every turn and the enemies will die fast. The campaign is really easy now. So there we go, wave four, just match all of those. Boss wave, just match anything again, nice and easy. We got through that quickly. Let's just see if I actually get a scale shard from this. I'll say it's around one in eight chance or so of getting a scale shard. Then we get a bunch of junk cards as well. I didn't get a scale shard this time, but I was mainly doing this for the EXP. All right. So we're gonna do a forge boss now. I highly recommend doing the forge bosses if you're focusing on ranking up. These actually give a decent chunk of EXP. Any modern team should kill the boss on turn one. So here we go. 
This should be just match anything, boss defeated. Nice and easy. So yeah, this is kind of an outdated feature of the game. They really need to add some more Forge bosses that are actually challenging for the more modern decks. These only exist to give EXP now pretty much. Alright, so let's have a look at the Trials store. I'm not actually going to do the missions yet. However, if we actually look at the store, in my opinion, the best thing to go for is the potions. I normally use all of my trials coins to buy potions. I really want to try and power up my GVG attack team. So I'm going to keep buying dark potions until that's done. With the dungeon store, I generally only buy catalysts when I really need them. I sometimes buy the reforged stones as well. If I get an old card, I want to reforge for dust. Onto the gear dungeon store. There's not much here that's really worthwhile. However, I sometimes get the reforged charm shards, but most of the other things you can get here are not much use later game if i'm being honest this store really needs an update these are all for relics that are older as the vault generally just gives six star relics automatically so yeah this store's a bit outdated i've got tons of tokens over 2000 I'm just waiting really in case they update that store at a later date so there we go that's the stamina you can get from scavenge the three stamina is pretty common the 15 stamina is rare though but if you do get it it's great so with that covered Let's move on to the Legend Trials. So I'm going to do a Silver Boss, then I'm going to try out my GBG Attack Team event deck from the previous event on a Gold Boss. Now with the Silver Bosses, these are really easy. You can defeat them in two turns. So basically... All you need is a legend card as lead and then other cards that spawn power gems. So just make a match on the first turn. And then use the legend card skill. Oh no, I need to do one more actually, hold on. And that should just defeat it in one go. Well, nearly. It's because the card is not fully upgraded. If I was doing this with a further upgraded legend, it would be a two-turn kill. It takes a bit longer. You know, see what I got from this. Fire essences, they're very welcomed, as I have hardly any of those. Then a few junk items. I mean, it's not much of use. Maybe the red envelope shards. All right, now to take on a gold boss. Here we go. I'm hoping this is fast. I set up a team for this that will hopefully kill it really quickly. It's not that team, it's the team here. I've put this card on the team as it has the beast killer skill.
and then it's just four cards from the previous event deck. All Immortal Killer. As this deck has a massive attack boost, I'm hoping I can kill this really fast. We will see that. I'm going to test this out. I've not tried this deck here yet. It also has a huge amount of HP, as you can see. So it's just going to be match anything until the barrier is down. I'm going to need 10 matches for that. Sometimes the boss changes all the dark gems to light though. In which case I'll need to use a few of the skills, but the damage is really low. There we go. So I'll use that one and that one. So I might use one of the ultra rares just so I don't run out of HP for the damage immunity. Mute damage for one turn, as you can see there. So I need four more turns. A slight bit of slow loading there. It's okay though, it hasn't disconnected. Lots of gems on the grid there, nice light and dark mix. So I'm gonna use this now to get the supercharged bonus for the next turn. Now here we go, let's see how much damage this actually does. I've not tried this yet. I'm gonna have one more turn though, just so I have a full grid of power gems. Here we go. Right. With an ultimate gem as well. Yeah, the boss has no chance whatsoever against that much power. That was really easy. That deck worked really well there. I even got a core, even though I don't need cores anymore. So the main reason for doing that is for the High Tide Season Quest. There we go. Just need to do a daily dungeon. I've done all the quests for today. I can't do the VIP inbox reward as I'm not VIP. We're claiming that right now. It's taking a bit of time. A little bit slow. Right, there we go. I am rank 457 now. About halfway through that rank. I will use this method to try and rank up to rank 500. That's my main aim anyway. I think that's about all I'm going to cover in this video. If there's anything else you want me to cover though on this game, feel free to let me know. I hope that was interesting. And thanks for watching.